So I'm delighted today to have a chat with Pamela Leggett. It's lovely to speak to you, Pamela, a bit of a legend, and I'm a bit awestruck, if I'm honest. Um, oh. so it's so great to have you on the podcast, so thank you so much for taking the time out. So for anybody that doesn't know you, could you just tell the listeners a little bit about who you are and what you do? So my name is Pamela Leggett, and I'm located in Vernon, Connecticut. And I am a pattern designer and an instructor and now kind of an inventor of sewing tools as well. So uh, my main focus started with this part of my career as a pattern designer. And it's not something that I had ever done before. And I just did it because I wanted a better pattern right out of the package for my customers. So I was really concentrating on the fit of the pattern more than the style of the pattern. And so that started off just as something for my customers and ended up being a business. So what's your favorite item that you've made this year? Well, I, I have to say it's my jeans. So I spent two years developing a jeans pattern and it took a long time to decide how I wanted the jeans pattern to be and to get it developed and to do a bazillion prototypes on people to get the fit just right. And I'm having so much fun making jeans because again, it's that detail. A lot of my patterns are super simple and pretty fast to make, you know? Jeans have a lot more detail and I'm really enjoying that. And I'm enjoying making different styles of the jeans. So some are high-waisted and some are to the waist and some are slim fit and some are relaxed and some have wide legs and some are cropped and some are flared. And I've just been having so much fun making jeans. So it's not just one thing, but one, you know, one idea. Yeah. And just, just recently, and now I'm working on a denim skirt so pattern. very nice yeah fantastic and what's coming up on your sewing project list what's your next make so I'm anxious to finish this denim skirt and I'm always thinking as far as my business goes what I'm making next I I am doing several classes coming up where I'll be making some new things I'm doing a serger project virtually that is a tiered skirt which is very popular right now. Yeah. And it's all done on the serger. And I'm thinking that that one might end up being a freebie kind of thing on my website. And so I'm working on that. And I also, oh, I actually just got a vintage pattern that I, it's a really, really cute, like short swing jacket. And it was a remake in Simplicity. And I was just teaching a couple of weeks ago in St. Louis, Missouri. And the, the woman that I was, that was hosting me, showed me this jacket that she made. And it was this remake of a 1940s swing jacket that was done by Simplicity. And it was out of print, but I was able to find it on Etsy. And uh, just before we got on today, I was cleaning up my recording studio here and found two pieces of fabric, actually three, because it's lined, three pieces of fabric that would be just perfect. So it's sitting right over there on my shelf <laughs> and kind of eyeballing that and hoping maybe I have time to make that. Lovely. And if you had to pick one part of the sewing process that is, or dressmaking process that's your least favorite, what would you say? What do you look forward to the least? Oh, huh. The least. I don't know. <laughs> I'm such a sewing nerd. I like it all. I, I can't think of any part of it that I don't like. I, I get just so excited about every single little part of the process. I, yeah, I don't have an answer for that one. I, I love That's it all. all right. That's good to know. That's good to know. Amazing. The hardest part for me is I have this huge fabric stash, right? Just like every other sewer. <laughs> I think the hardest part, oh, maybe this would be then the least liked part is I'll, I'll have, know something that I want to make. And then I can't decide out of all these beautiful <laughs> fabrics that I have, like, like, uh, let's say I want to make a new t-shirt. 
I'll agonize, agonize <laughs> over which fabric I'm going to choose to make that t-shirt. I've spent so much time trying to figure out which fabric I'm going to use when I've got, you know, dozens of choices. <laughs> that by the time I've picked it out, it's time to move on and I'm busy. Oh yeah. my God. You could have oh, been okay. wearing it a week. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like, and, and I say to myself as I'm doing it, like this voice in my head is going, oh, for God's sake, Pamela, just choose one. It's going to be fine. <laughs> brilliant I think that's a great answer I, I feel your I feel your pain with that definitely you want to make 10 things out of that same piece of fabric yeah. I'm, I'm with you totally so I've loved chatting to you today it's been really informative and really helpful so thank you so much if people want to connect with you can you just tell them briefly how to how they can reach you or follow you Oh, sure. Of course, there's my website, which is PamelaSPatterns.com. And on the website, there is a contact page so that you can email me. It'll come directly to me. There is also my phone number is there. <laughs> you can text and call. And I know if, if your, your uh, listeners are in the UK, probably they'd want to do WhatsApp or something. So I do answer all of that as well. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and also some reels on TikTok. Thank you so much, Pamela. It's just been amazing. And hopefully we'll get to chat again. But I really appreciate appreciate all sharing all your knowledge. So thanks so much for chatting with us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This was a lot of fun. 